Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and today we're going to look at how you download versions of Rockwell software. So let's say you have Iris Logics or Studio 5000 or uh, uh, View Studio and you want to get a version of it. Maybe it's the latest version you're entitled to or maybe it's an older version. You know, I saw somebody on social media posting that they were very frustrated they couldn't access the software and it's actually not that difficult. So I wanted to make this video to show everybody how to do it. So let's go ahead and start by pointing our browsers over at ab.com. And that's going to redirect us over to ab.rockwellautomation.com. And from there, we're not going to go to the downloads menu. We're going to click on the compatibility and downloads icon. Now here, this is where we're going to search for our software. And because I'm filming a VUSC basics course, I'm going to go ahead and search on View Site Edition. And here you can see I've searched and I'm going to go ahead and click on products on the right here to narrow it down. And then you can see here I got versions and downloads. I want downloads right now. But if all you wanted to know about was versions, you could click on versions. So let me click on downloads and here you can see version 9, version 8, etc. So I'm going to click on that little download arrow. You can see some of the other downloads here. But I want to get the software. So I'm going to click on get software. Now at this point, it's asking me for my serial number and my product key. There's other things I can put in there too, company name and whatnot. But this information is inside the box or in the email that you got after you ordered the software. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in and I'll be right back. Okay, I've entered in my serial number and product key and here you can see I can download Factory Talk View SC and there's all these other third party free utilities, etc. Um, but right now I want to show you that when I select View SC, I also have a version drop down list here. And 9 is the newest version that I have access to because I just bought it and 9 is the latest version. But if 10 comes out next week and I don't have a TechConnect contract, I'm not going to have access to 10. Okay, just like if you bought Windows 2000, you didn't get a free copy of Windows 7 or Windows 10. Um, in any case, here you can see most of the older revs are listed there. Now, some have been pulled. You can see version 4 is not there. That's been pulled from the download list. If you really, really had to have it, you could call your local Rockwell representative and see if they can get you a copy of it. But in most cases, the versions here that you see are the versions that are bug-free that they want to let people download and uh, have high confidence it's not going to have an issue. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and accept the agreement here. And then I always choose direct download. That's just my preference. And here I got three links. I got uh, FTView uh, link one, FTView link two, and I have a third link there for the patch rollup. So let me go ahead and click on the first one. You can see it downloading here on the bottom left of the screen. And you know what? I'm going to go back and click on the other two as well. So let me click on part two. And it's downloading now. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the patch rollup. And now I have all three of them downloading. And they're going to take a little while to download. But that is how easy it is to download your software. If you have your box or your email that you got after you ordered the software, all you need is your serial number and your product key. And of course you have to log into Rockwell's website, but you can just create a free uh, user account to do that. And uh, you can download your software. And uh, hopefully you'll find that helpful. Now if you have a question about this or any of the videos, um, feel free to post it over at theautomationforums.com. I'm directing everybody from the blog and from the videos to go over there and post your questions there so I have only one place to go every day to answer questions instead of going to Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, the websites. I'm just directing everybody right there. That allows me to answer more questions every day. And plus, unlike YouTube and some of these other places, WordPress, you can actually upload files and attach images on the forum. You can't do that at those other places. So it allows an easier uh, back and forth and we can provide more information to each other. I just recently had a, a, a reader go up there and post some screenshots of a problem he's having. And I was able, able to help him out uh, much quicker because I could see what the problem was. So feel free to post any questions you have or comments over there at theautomationforums.com. And uh, if you'd like to help me make more videos, more free videos, more free blogs, then consider going over to patreon.com forward slash automation and making a $1 monthly pledge or more. And in return, you'll get free downloads from the Automation Exchange. So you get my free videos, you get uh, sample code, all for free every month when you support me over at patreon.com forward slash automation. 
And with that, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.